I found things to be in flux. Why? Because first, the political situation has become really terrible in the sense that you had a president who keeps on attacking uh, people who don't have any reason to be attacked, like he attacks Lenny Robredo. And bakit uh, naman ganun? Uh, and I, 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 I suppose you have people also on the other side who are always blaming him for uh, the, the EJ, EJ case. And so, talagang nagkawarat-warat yung, 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 yung dalawa. And I think that that's not good for the country. Because there is, uh, you have to get along with your enemy. You have to get along with your who, whoever's uh, opposing you, because it takes two to tangle. It, it can't be one side always winning the argument. Mm. The other side also has to be given some points to win. So I thought that, given that, I thought that I'd make myself available as an independent to be able to bring them closer together, if I can bring them closer together. Kung hindi, hindi pa eh. No no skin off my back. But if you are able to bring them closer together, you might be able to move things faster. Hmm. So, that's where I am. So, you, you mean you want to be a unifying force? Because you're, you are a member of PDP Laban, and you are a f personal friend of the president, right? Were, were you ex expecting, like, like I said, th these are exciting times to be in politics. But were you surprised by what has happened in the past two years, considering the campaign in 2016 for the presidential race? Were you surprised by what's happening now? Well, I'm surprised in the extent that I never thought that the president would react so badly to those who hmm. were against him and uh, react so well to those who had, he had no business being in bed with, you know, <laughs> Gloria Arroyo and, uh, yeah. and uh, Bong Bong Marcos. So I was surprised there. But I felt that, you see, in analyzing the, the president, he really has no agenda. Mm. He has no desire to continue in office beyond this term. Mm -hmm. See, his daughter, Sarah, is not even running for for the Senate. Mm. When she could run for the Senate and run for president again in 2022. Mm. No, she decided not to. So he's really got no, he just wants to finish his term. And we want him to finish his term because what will we do? We will have another Edge of mm. Three or Edge of Four. And the point is that because it's going to So I thought that maybe somebody will be able to come in and say, hey, wait a minute, guys. Can we, can we tone, the, uh, tone mm. this down a bit? Wag mo muna sabihin yan, wag mo muna sabihin yan. Let's see whether we can have a meeting of the minds on some things that on which we can agree. Mm. Then we can disagree on the other things. Mm. But the way it's going, halos hindi nag-uusap yung dalawang side.